Okay, I've got my uh, PM1236 uh, feed screw, right? Popped out of there. Or the lead screw, my bad. Anyways, got the bearings and stuff in there. That's all cool. That thing popped out. Couldn't get it to go back in. It won't engage, you know. Couldn't figure out what was going on with it. Um, so I popped the pan out of here. Shove that feed rod or that lead screw back out. Shove that lead screw way out of there. Anyways, I went ahead and took the gearbox apart, the cover off of it. I'm not doing anything major, just checking it out, seeing what I can see. I mean, most of us that have these things, we're kind of fixers by nature, you know, I'm no different. So they got these little clutch things, man, you know, they pop in and out of place, you know. Uh, gears going in and out. And, uh, anyways, if you look back in there, you can see that. Look at that. There's a hole in that gear. Like there's supposed to be a roll pin or something in it. But there's no roll pin in there. So what the heck, you know, what happened to the roll pin? I was looking down here in the bottom, and there's a roll pin. It's not broken, it's not sheared. It just fell out. So, I guess my fix is going to be to put this thing down you know, on the bench, and then take a screwdriver right here in the middle, and bend that back out, widen it out, and then you know try to press it back up inside of there, get that thing. See if I can get that thing lined up again. Holes lined up where it needs to be. Anyways, this right here, this is the gear that locks it. And it like brings this other. So that, that gear messes up. And then it's supposed to spin that lead screw. Or you can do the feed rod lead screw, feed rod, lead screw. So that, that roll pin and that gear right there just fell out. It's crazy stuff. But check this out for future reference. Um, I drain the oil, you have to drain the oil. Future reference, anybody that does this. Um, Right here on the bench, right? We have uh, I was taking the knobs off, okay? Don't do that, just see right here. There's a little holes there, uh, it's for the detent ball to go in. And there's springs behind there, I'll show you. So you got the spring inside the inside the knob. That spring. And then that detent ball rides on that spring. And it gets compressed against the you know, the face of this. This is the, the front side of the gearbox. Okay? So what you gotta do is uh, to put this thing back together, you gotta hold this uh, ball and one of those holes with a screwdriver. Line up your thing. And then put your uh, your screws in there to hold that thing on there. Yeah. So just to save yourself some headache, don't bother taking these knobs apart. Leave them together. Just take your screws out and the whole thing comes out of there. My gasket stayed intact, so that's a good thing. But yeah, this right here is the gear from it goes from inside to out that the knob bolts to, like this. And that gear right there, when you put this faceplate back on it, it'll have to mesh up to uh, to its corresponding gears. But it'll save you a lot of time and headaches if you just don't remove the the knobs at all.